How are progressively longer term client relationships changing how you do business? Well, they're, they're essential for us. Uh, you know, we wouldn't be able to continue to do the type of work we're doing without being able to say you know, that certain clients are in fact our clients. The only way we keep those clients is by you know, continually and consistently delivering on what they ask us to do. So I think it's a, we, we're always trying to strike a balance between you know, generating new business and building our client base and bolstering our geographic locations by having regional clients and servicing some of the national and international clients that we have based in those particular locations. I think that as our company grows and as we build with you know, increased substantive experience, that we have greater depth and bench and ability to serve not only the clients we have in place, but to, to generate and, and grow with new clients mm -hmm. because we have the ability to move beyond maybe what we wouldn't have been able to do three years ago mm -hmm. or without a San Francisco office. Do you find that you, you now need to complement kind of that sales um, resource with account management? I think we're figuring that out, to be honest. Um, you know, we do have particular individuals who are tasked with servicing you know, institutional clients, mm -hmm. you know, and oftentimes they serve as the primary sort of point of contact. But there are plenty of instances where we expand that out and we introduce you know, younger recruiters to our clients to ensure that you know, they, they understand and see mm -hmm. our company beyond simply you know, founding partners or junior partners, right. but really see that we have depth of bench that exceeds and, and extends beyond what maybe they knew existed two, three years ago. 